Robert Langdon teams up with the young doctor, and together they must race across Europe against the clock to foil a deadly global plot in Inferno. Hi, I'm Ron Howard. I'm talking to you here on Made in Hollywood, and I'd like to introduce a scene from my latest movie, Inferno. Professor Langdon, we need your help. Three days ago, a man killed himself. We think it was part of something much bigger. There was a package in his pocket. And what was it? Dante's Inferno. I believe that of all three films, it has been said that this is the most visually stylistic. So going into this, what was your vision for it? Why did you, or how did you well, want to make it different than the other two? Well, this one is really largely from Robert Langdon's point of view, and Robert Langdon's point of view is a little bit unreliable because he's not quite sure how he fits into this mystery. I think it suggested a different kind of cinematic tone and style, and as a director, I love that it was fresh and challenging in a new way. Dante defined our modern conception of hell 700 years ago. But these circles of hell have been rearranged. Why Dante? Why this map of hell? Dante. Dante's death mask. Yes. Do you read the book first or the script first? I read the script first. I really enjoyed reading it, and then I met Ron, and. Uh, immediately after meeting him, thought, "Oh, this is this is going to be a really exciting project to work on." And then from then on, went went on to read the book. A very smart and clever script. <laughs> <laughs> it starts there. It's got to start there, and, and, that, and that makes it easier to come to work and, and and then collaborate and build on that. We've got to get to Florence. I need access to the Dante mask. The Dante mask is no longer here. It was stolen. Here's the security footage. Professor, that looks like you. Right before this interview, I actually went to the Palazzo Vecchio. Oh, and it was great. so cool because I, I got to see some of the actual locations that you got to shoot in. What is it like being able to shoot in a museum like that? Oh, it's it's what makes doing a film like this so much fun is is immediately when we started, we our first two weeks were in Florence and it's 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 much nicer than being stuck in a studio for months on end and never seeing any daylight. So we really made the most of it. A lot of fun. Because <laughs> you don't have to work so hard. There's some films, big uh, studio movies where um, there's a lot of effects. You'll be in a green room and you're just trying to imagine where everything is. Whereas you get to come out here and that's that's your backdrop. Florence, Venice, everything we were hoping for for this movie. Uh, and now Budapest, Istanbul, and beyond. Here in Florence, we were very fortunate because the nature of the scenes, including the drone chase in Bobley Garden and uh, sort of the seeing the Dante mask and all that, you know, those are all things that, that we could do, we could do quickly, and we could do it with cooperation of the, of the, of the local uh, city. When we were shooting in the Bobley Gardens, we were very much left to our own devices and then shooting obviously in the center of Florence you attract a bit more attention but everyone was so very uh, understanding and allowing us to interrupt their holidays as they're, <laughs> as they're trying to go about their, their sightseeing. Plus I'm sure to them they're like this is so awesome we get to see a Hollywood film in the making. Exactly, exactly and and uh, yeah it's, it's amazing seeing all of Tom Hanks's fans and then there's a lot of love for him so uh, yeah I think it was I think it, people really enjoyed watching it. Professor, you are having visions, aren't you? The people behind this would do anything to protect the truth. You have no idea what they're capable of. This is what I have been seeing. Look, look, look. This is not in the original painting. Here's another one. Speaking of being in a film with Tom Hanks, what is that like? It's, 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 it was a great experience. I, I mean, he... Um, he is as everyone expects him to be. He's very kind. He's he's incredibly professional. He he likes to do good work and and um, and there's there's very little drama with him. He's he's just incredibly incredibly easy to work with. You know, you you, you were talking about the locations. You know, being that movie shooting in those locations. But before that, there is um, you know the director and um, the main you know actor Tom Hanks. So there's a lot of reason to. Um, to uh, accept and to be, um, yes. to be agreed to be a uh, part of uh, this project. Oh my God, Dante's Inferno isn't fiction, it's a prophecy. Someone created a plague. Our population is spiraling out of control. Inferno is the cure. I think the most awesome scene is the one with all of the water. The oh, red water. Yes. I don't yeah. want to give too much away. Yeah. 
Although I have to say it's pretty scary in order, because you need to be low enough for the camera to, to catch you. You have to wear weights when you're underwater, which is, uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. And action! Was that set exactly the way it looks in the movie or were you shooting in a water tank for some of the scenes? Some of it was a water tank in Budapest, in a, yeah, in a studio. So it was a combination. We needed to build that tank because of all the action that we were involved in. And sometimes these tourist locations, they might let you in for a brief amount of time, but maybe not enough time to do a long, complicated sequence. So that was one of those where we had to, had to recreate that. There was just no way to safely um, work down there. I will do everything I can to find it. For my full uncut interview with director Ron Howard, head on over to our YouTube channel, Made in Hollywood TV, and don't forget to subscribe while you're there. Made in Hollywood.